This is what we call the Cody Warner Challenge. And those of you who follow Cody Warner, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So you take the switch pod, and that's, by the way, that's what this is called, the switch pod, and uh, you can flip it. Not that impressive, but what if you put your camera on here? What if you put your phone on here? Can you still flip it? Today's video is brought to you by Video Leap. Video Leap is a free mobile video editor that's intuitive, fun, and easy to learn. In Video Leap, you can do anything from cutting and connecting your clips to adding filters and effects, and you can do it while using multiple video layers. You can also use keyframes, detach your audio, add a voiceover, add text, animations, and Video Leap even has a chroma key feature if you want to use a green screen. Video Leap will take care of all your mobile editing needs to keep you creative while on the go. You can download and use Video Leap for free and there's a link in the description below underneath this video. This is my new tripod and it's probably the coolest and most practical tripod design I've ever seen or that you've ever seen. And that you've probably seen this before. A lot of creators have made videos about this, especially a couple months ago when it first came out, but you might not know that you can use this with your phone. All right, here we go. <laughs> I can't stop. This is probably not the best thing to do to show you this, but I just, I can't help myself. This has got some weight on it. Let's see. Oh, this is, this is a terrible idea. <laughs> the main idea with this thing is that because it's ergonomically correct and it's bent like this, you can actually get it out away from you so you can make sure that you're in the shot. And this is a problem that you have depending on the type of lens you use with a DSLR or depending on how you're using it with your phone. Sometimes it's hard to get yourself in the shot, but now you can extend your arm and make sure that you're in the shot. And this thing is perfect for that. It's right at the perfect angle. It's super lightweight and it just makes sense. I can't believe it took so long for somebody to come out with this. All right, now in the past, you've seen me talk about this. This is a Joby grip and you know, you can wrap it around things, doorknobs, handles, whatever you want. And in the past, I've talked about this being my favorite thing, but look what's starting to happen with this. It's just starting to fall apart on me. So uh, not very cool, these actually wear out. Now the bigger version of the Joby, this one doesn't wear out so fast, but it's still big and it's cumbersome, especially compared to this. Now this is very lightweight, it's very slim. This is big and bulky and it just, it doesn't feel that good. And also you have to bend it into shape. So if you wanna put your phone on here or your DSLR or your GoPro, you have to put the top on it and you gotta bend it into shape and it takes time and it's awkward, right? It, nah, I'm not gonna use that anymore. But this, it's already bent to shape. It's ergonomically correct. It has finger grooves in here. It's very lightweight and it packs away nicely in your suitcase, especially if you're traveling. Now, as I'm holding it in my hand, it is closed. And if you're a vlogger and you're outside walking around, this is how you're going to hold it. And it's perfect for that. But it also works as a tripod. So it just opens right up and it'll sit down wherever you want it to sit. Now, here's the thing. You see this part right here? I actually added that, and let me take it off and show you what I'm talking about here. So this is how it actually comes, just like this. It's a one piece, and you see that it doesn't come with a ball head on here. Now, they've actually made a ball head for this. I don't have it, but they just started selling it, I believe a week or two ago. So I have my own ball head that I put on here. This is a Joby 3K ball head. It just screws right onto the top. So if you do order this, you wanna make sure to get some sort of a ball head for it. Like I said, they do have their own, but if you have one of these laying around or you do wanna order one, I'll put a link to this down in the description below. While I don't like Joby's grips anymore, I do like the ball head. This thing is pretty sturdy. Links down below to that. Now, SwitchPod isn't paying me to make this video and I'm not sponsored in any way, but I did get this for free by attending Vid Summit back in October. All the attendees actually got a SwitchPod. I actually got two of them because on the last day there were a few left and uh, I picked up another one, so that's cool. I have dual uh, SwitchPods. That's, I, I actually, you know what? Hold on. I feel like Edward Scissorhands. This thing is awesome. I mean, I, I could go on and on about it. And I know you've seen it before. A lot of creators have been making videos about this. Uh, this is incredible. And it's gonna go in my travel bag. It's gonna go wherever I go. It also comes with some screws, some threaded holes here. Screws, threaded holes. So if you have a light or a microphone that you wanna screw in, you can do that too. So once you set up your phone on here or your DSLR or your GoPro, or whatever you wanna put on here, you can add a light, you can add a microphone on the other side. 
uh, they have threaded holes for that. So that's pretty cool too. The SwitchPod is made by Pat Flynn and Caleb Wojcik. They are also creators, so they knew exactly what other creators needed. And again, look, this is gonna work for you if you're a vlogger, it's gonna work for you if you just want something portable and lightweight and you wanna replace this big bulky thing. This thing is much better than this, hands down. And anybody who's using one, they're gonna agree that you're gonna probably get rid of this if you have it. Out of all the videos that I've seen for it, and I've watched a lot of videos on this, one person, Cody Warner, he actually made a video talking talking about how this actually loosened up a little bit. And it was his only complaint about this. The only complaint that I could find online was that after you use this for a while, these do loosen up a little bit. So I'm gonna put a link to Cody's video. He actually saw this, he came up with a solution that keeps this closed and it's pretty slick. So I'm gonna put a link to Cody's video down in the description below as well. So if you're curious about that, and you wanna buy one of these, be sure to watch Cody's video. It's a, he's a smart fella, that Cody Warner. Now I've made videos in the past on my channel too, I think, where I talk about different mobile accessories, the different mounts you can use, and the different types of grips and handles that you can use. I'm gonna put that video up on the screen right now. You can tap on that video and go watch that video. But when it comes time to the actual grip, note that I've replaced this with this. So thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.